Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to the flag racing ceremony. Awarding of PMP personnel with significant accomplishments. Conferment of performance governance system institutionalized status to Police Regional Office 1 at the National Headquarters, Philippine National Police. Joining us by Zoom platform are the regional directors, D staff, Director Ennis Hughes, and B staff. The ceremony will now begin. Please all rise. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Invocation will be delivered by Police Brigadier General Jason Ortiz, Director, Chaplain Service. Let us bow our heads, and in the humility of our hearts, let us recognize the holy presence of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, we humble ourselves before you and proclaim your glory. Today, we dedicate our work to you as we gather for our flag raising, awarding of personnel with significant accomplishment, and PGS institutionalization status confirmant ceremony for Police Regional Office 1. In your most merciful heart, we seek for your blessings, while we are grateful for your sacred supervision as we journey through fundamental change in the PNP organization. We beg for your guiding hands, especially now as we embark and set foot on the path of good governance. Let the spirit of our ceremony inspire us to become competent, highly motivated, and values-oriented PNP personnel. Most of all, 
in this trying time against the COVID-19 pandemic, may you raise us up into the mystery of your salvation as we further pray that your mantle of divine providence would bind and hold us together into the genuine transformation of the BNP institution. Finally, bestow, dear Lord, your special blessings upon our beloved Chief PNP, Police General Camilo Pancrasius P. Cascolan. Keep him in the state of your grace and let him continue to inspire us, transform from within, and become the public servants that he wants us to be. Police Coy responsibly, respetado, at disciplinado. All this we ask and pray in your most mighty name. Amen. Amen. To answer what Tawat ng Pilipinas and police officers pledge will be led by Police Colonel Richard Caballero, Acting Chief OMG CIDG. Kami ng paan ang katapatan sa matawat. Pangyaring itaas po ang kanang kamay at sumunod sa aking mga bibig kasi. Ako ay Pilipino, buong katapatang nanunumpa sa matawat ng Pilipinas at sa bansang kanyang sinasagisan na may tangal, katarungan at kalayaan na pinakikilos ng sambayan ng mga Diyos Makatao, makakalikasan, at makabansa. Pakibaba po ang kanang kamay. Police officers pledge, please repeat after me. I will love and serve God, my country and people. I will uphold the Constitution and obey legal orders of the duly constituted authorities. I will oblige myself to maintain a high standard of morality and professionalism. I will respect the customs and traditions of the police service. And I will live a decent and virtuous life to serve as an example to others. Please be seated. We will now proceed to the awarding of BMP personnel with significant accomplishments. May we now request the awardees to rise. To present the award is the Chief PNP Police General Camilo Pancrasius Cascolan together with the PNP Command Group and TDPRM. May we request him to rise. For his significant accomplishment as team leader of Police Station 3 Angeles City Police Office during the conduct of the checkpoint, strict implementation of MGCQ at MLEX Community on September 23, Barangay, Pulo Marabul, Angeles City, which resulted in the arrest of L.A. Abigail Habel and Cheng Li, attempting to bribe them by offering money instead of complying with the law after they failed to present their travel pass and health certificate. The Medallion na Kasanayan is awarded to Police Lieutenant Romulus Ramos. Thank you very much. For their significant accomplishment as members of Police Station 3 Angeles City Police Office, Medallia Nam Papuri is awarded to Police Staff Sergeant Argel Kabuke. The same award is given to Police Corporal Eric Sapu.
same award is given to Patrolman Irish Kutisa. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all our awardees. Please be seated. Today, the Chief PNP will confer the institutionalized status to Police Regional Office 1 for satisfying the mandatory requirements for the fourth and final stage of the Performance Governance System, or PGS. Pro 1 successfully passed the institutionalized evaluation process, composed of three sequential phases, the Strategic Readiness Test, the Performance Audit, and the Unit Revolta. May we request the Chief PNP, Police General Camilo Pancrasio Soscolan, to administer the conferment of institutionalized status together with the members of the National Advisory Group for Police Transformation and Development. Police Major General Joselito Veracruz, the Chairman of TWG for PNP Patrol Plan 2030. Police Major General Samuel Pagdilao. Police Brigadier General Rex Dolino. Police Brigadier General Noel Barraceros and the Director of CPSM, Police Brigadier General Roderick Armamento. May we invite the team from Pro 1, led by the Regional Director, Police Brigadier General Rodolfo Azarin Jr., to rise. May we also request Commissioner Rosas to join. The Chief PNP will now hand over the institutionalized confirmant pin to RD Pro 1, who will now attach the PIN Patrol Plan 2030 institutionalized pin at the Pro 1 Patrollers Plan. Pro 1 is now confirmed as the institutionalized status in implementing the PNP Patrol Plan 2030. Pro 1 will also receive a certificate and Silver Eagle Award for garnering an overall rating of 94.6% during the institutionalization evaluation process. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Pro 1. Please be seated. Let us hear from the Regional Director of Pro 1, Police Brigadier General Rodolfo Asodin Jr. Our energetic and dynamic chief of the Philippine National Police, Police Brigadier General, Police General Camilo Pampracios Pascua Pascualan, sir. The Deputy Chief PNP for Administration, Police Lieutenant General Guillermo Lorenzo Ingesar, sir. The Deputy Chief PNP for Operations, Police Lieutenant General Cesar Cotorn Mina, sir. The Acting Chief Directorial Staff, Police Major General Marcelito Veracrosser, the Inspector General Internal Affairs Service, Attorney Alfigar Ryan Bonuser, our amiable Napolcom Commissioner, Ms. Senyonida F. Rosas, ma'am, members of the Directorial Staff, DIPOS, and Director NSUs, the National Advisory Group for Police Transformation and Development, led by Police Lieutenant General Samuel Pagdilao Jr., sir, together with Police Brigadier General Rex Milton Dolino, 
Police Brigadier General Noel Baraceros, the Police Regional Office One personnel, our Chairperson Regional Advisory Council in Region One, Miss Daisy Sayang Tamang, the former Regional Directors of PRO One, Regional Directors, Officers and Men of the Philippine National Police for virtually joining us. Friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, na imbag abigat kada kayo amin. I take pride and humbled in receiving the significant award for and in behalf of the past, immediate past, and current PCOs, PNUBs, and RATS member of Police Regional Office 1 as the very first unit of the PNP to be conferred and arrive at the frontier of PGS institutionalization. I would like to recognize the past regional directors of PRO1, namely Police Brigadier General Moro Lasso, Police Brigadier General Roman Felix, Police Brigadier General Charlo Collado, and Police Brigadier General Joel Orduña for herding the PGS stages that came across them while sitting as regional directors from the initiation stage, compliance stage, proficiency stage, and finally the institutionalization stage. With their sterling performance, PRO1 again achieved another milestone among its many firsts. Our country today is faced with a formidable and unforeseen enemy caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. But guided and motivated by the exemplary leadership of those who came before us. Under my leadership as the current regional director, Team PRO1 will continue to do its best for our family, for our organization, and for our country and the Filipino people we are bound to serve and to protect. Under the leadership of our current Chief PNP, Police General Camilo Pantracios Pascua Cascolan, Team PRO1 programs and projects are aligned with this nine-point agenda that gives emphasis to a more responsive staffing requirement towards operational excellence, improved infrastructure development for a more functional and conducive work environment, and integration of our smart policy. Taking cue from the strategic view of our chief PNP, PRO1 translated and simplified the nine-point agenda through our progress-driven initiatives, the M plus K plus K equals K framework, or the Malasakit plus Kayusan plus Kapayapaan equals Kaunlaran framework to achieve a holistic progress in our region. Madali itong tandaan ng bawat polis and all programs are very much aligned with our patrol plan 2030 for the nine-point agenda of our chief PNP workout. Team PRO1 personnel will draw its motivation from the current state we are now in as an institutionalized office. We shall sustain the gains of the PNP patrol plan 2030 and beyond. Our best practices will be shared and continuously reviewed with our strategic partners and stakeholders, such as the Regional Technical Working Group, Regional Police Strategy Management Unit, and the Regional Advisory Council. Team PRO1 will always challenge the status quo in our quest for continuous excellence and be at our best every day. Team PRO1 will continue to dream. Team PRO1 will believe and will achieve that dream. Team PRO1 will soar high because we stand as a recognized citizen-friendly human rights-based police office na may malasakit, may kayusan, may kapayapaan para sa kaunlaran to the entire Ilocos region. Mabuhay ang Police Regional Office 1, mabuhay ang Team Philippine National Police.
at this juncture, sir, allow me to again give to you the compilation of our camp master development plan, which is part of the nine-point agenda of our chief Philippine National Police. Thank you, sir. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the director of CPSM, the National Advisor Group for Police Transformation and Development, and the Technical Working Group for the PNP Patrol Plan 2030, proudly presents to you the PNP's newest ambassador of the PNP Patrol Plan 2030, an icon of trust and goodwill, ang police na respetado, responsable at disciplinado, Police Corporal Pico. Let us give a warm welcome to the new ambassador of PNP Patrol Plan 2030, Police Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Camilo Pancrasius Gascon. Thank you. Please take the seat, Mr. Ma. To our guests, of course, the uh, Philippine National Police Command Group and our uh, directors. The Deputy Chief PNP for Administration, the Team Leader of my Dream Team, as I always say, uh, Police Lieutenant General Guillermo Elizar, the DCO, Police Lieutenant General Cesar Hoffman Binag, and our active Chief, Directorial Staff, Police Major General 
Pasolito del Cruz. To our uh, Inspector General, the Inter Internal Affairs uh, Service, Attorney Alvergar Ryan Bulser. Members of the Directorial Staff and Director of Nas National Support Units. Also our uh, Regional Directors who are present in the, uh, in the uh, virtually with us. The National Advisory Group for Police Transformation and Development, or the LPTD, led by Commissioner Zenolida Brosas, now. Police Lieutenant General Samuel Pagelata. Police Brigadier General Rex Milton Belize. And Police Brigadier General Noel Baraceros. Our Police Regional of One Personnel. Police Brigadier General Rodolfo Azurin, Regional Director, the City Magiti Time. We are the first regional uh, office to be uh, institutionalized after this. Of course, Police Colonel Randolph Balogloon, the Deputy Real Director for Administration. <laughs> and Police Colonel Andre Dizon, the Chief Regional Staff. We are one in charge of our uh, IPSMU. Miss Stacy uh, Sayanga, ma'am, the Chairperson of Regional Advisory Council 1. All those who are present right now, men and women of the Philippine National Police who are virtually joining us, friends from the media, guests, other visitors, ladies and gentlemen, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. To the PNP Command Group, IGES, the Vice Chairman and members of the National Advisory Group for Police Transformation and Development who are with us today, to all those who are present, from the NAC PTD, the regional commander, all those who are uh, celebrating with us with regard to the institutionalization of Region 1, a pleasant and blessed morning to everybody. Let me first thank and congratulate Police Regional Office 1 under the leadership of Police Brigadier General Rodolfo Asurin Jr. and Pro One Advisory Council Chairperson Ms. Daisy Sayanga for attaining another milestone in our transformation journey the confirmation, confirmment of institutionalized status, making POAN the first and only among the units and offices of the Philippine National Police. I must say that the historic confirmment of institutionalized status to the PNP in July 15, 2019, brought a new life to our transformation efforts, and with all your continuing support, exemplified by Police Regional Office 1, in pursuing the institutionalization evaluation process, we are highly optimistic that we could sustain the momentum. We hope that the other PNP units and offices from the national headquarters down to the partners municipal police stations will emulate your earnest and genuine desire for transformation. I would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the regional, provincial, city, and municipal advisory councils of PRO1 for your enduring partnership, unequivocal commitment, and strong support in our journey through the rough roads of reform, providing wisdom, inspiration, and external expertise along the way. We in the PNP recognize the indispensability of your support in the success of our endeavors, and we hope that you will remain to be our formidable, formidable strong partners in our continuing transformation journey. Since the start of our transformation journey in 2005, the PNP has been through tremendous challenges and difficulties. But with the resiliency and dedication of our PNP personnel, the desire to mend their ways so that we could finally win the trust and confidence of the community, and of course, the strong and generous help and support of our advisory councils from various sectors in the community, now numbering more than 20,000 nationwide, the PNP transformation strategy took off and has since been well on its way towards attaining the objectives that have been set forth, focused on our vision to truly transform our organization to become a highly capable, effective, and credible police service. We, the intensified pursuit of the nine strategic trusts in the Philippine National Police, development program under the PNP Patrol Plan 2030 during my administration, we are highly optimistic that we could further fast-track our quest for real and lasting transformation in the Philippine National Police. 
I find it inspiring that our transformation chapters in the different police units nationwide, especially those in the field, our frontliners, continue to pour your time, energy, and effort in the implementation of our PNP Patrol Plan 2030. It is your enduring effort and the deep passion that goes with it that will see us through the rough and easy times in our transformation journey. And I believe it is the passion, the energy, and enthusiasm that we have so far put into this journey and the deep belief and active support of our advisory group through the years that helped the Philippine National Police earn the distinction of being the first among the six national government units selected by the national government to be conferred with the institutionalized status, the fourth and final stage of the performance governance system. The road to transformation may be long and arduous, but this is a journey that we in the Philippine National Police, together with our advisory councils, the National Police Commission, and other institutional partners will continue to take with more determination and resolve. There will still be obstacles along our journey, and the problems will continue to come. But what matters most is we remain united, dedicated, and strong as members of one family of public servants and responsible citizens. With only the best interests of the public, we serve foremost in our hearts and in our minds. We thank everyone for being and committing to be with us in this journey. This is a change that we embrace fully and with greater hope for a PNP that gets better every day as it continues to serve and protect the Filipino, Filipino nation and sustain its efforts to contribute to the national vision for a safe and progressive Philippines. To my fellow PNP patrollers and transformation champions, let us remain focused on the ideals and objectives we have set forth in our PNP Patrol Plan 2030, so that we will soon reap the rewards of our efforts through a truly transformed and responsive police service. Let us sustain the enthusiasm, commitment, and courage that we have placed in our relentless war against illegal drugs and criminality without losing sight of our continuing transformation effort to achieve our mission of a highly capable, effective, and credible police service. And above all, let us remain steadfast, steadfast amidst the storms and challenges of the service and prove to the people that we serve that the PNP is truly their servant, protector, and friend. To our institutional partners, the National Police Commission and other national government agencies, local government units, the civil society, and our highly esteemed advisory councils, we can never thank you enough and we will continuously rely on your continuing and enduring support as we in the PNP continue to reach out to the communities we serve to obtain their full support, cooperation, and eventually their higher level of trust and confidence. Together, let us continue with our shared commitment in transforming the Philippine National Police and leading it towards a higher level of service that you and our families and our fellow men rightly deserve and can be truly proud of and claim that ang police koy responsable, respetado, at disiplinado. Sa inyo pong lahat, marami pong salamat na huwag lagi tayong pagpalain ng ating pong mic pad. Kabuhan po tayo lahat. Thank you, sir. Please be seated. The Chief PNP highly appreciates the commitment and valuable support of our guests today. And at this time, the Chief PNP, together with the PNP Command Group, would like to present a memento to Ms. Daisy Sayanga, the Chairperson of the Regional Advisory Council of Pro One. May we request Ms. Daisy Sayanga to receive the memento. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen.
Manatilito tayong nakatayo, magsitayo ang lahat. At ngayon po ay ating awitin ang PNP Lingkod ng Bayan. Please be seated for a group photo.